I felt uh, that defensively we were very poor and uh, made big mistakes. We made the most difficult against a team who is uh, plays so deep, is well organized, was to score the first goal. One minute after, we didn't track uh, Lucas and uh, was straight away uh, down to 1 1. After that, uh, uh, it's better not to talk about the second goal and the third goal because it's. Uh, uh, sums it up, uh, I think, uh, the whole focus of our defensive job tonight. Petr Cech seemed to take responsibility on the pitch for the second goal, but maybe was it a silly throw-in from Monreal to put it that way? I think uh, the mistake we made was before to let it go in the throw-in, we had plenty of time to play. And you said the third goal as well. It looked as if Swansea pressed at particular times that caught your defence on the hop, if anything. Yes, they did well, they pressed well, they were sharp and uh, disciplined and uh, hungry and uh, that uh, disturbed us, but that's what you expect from a team of fights not to go down and uh, unfortunately I believe that uh, on that front we, we were not good enough. And Lucas Fabianski only had one save to make apart from letting the goal in. Did it surprise you how struggling it was for, to create like that? Well, uh, you know, uh, they, they defended very deep. Uh, once they were 1-1, they were happy with the 1-1. Uh, and uh, it was a question for us tonight in this kind of games, once you won it up, was a problem of not making the mistakes. You look well at the way we conceded the first goal. Maybe it was foul on Ozil, but after that, I believe that uh, uh, we were not uh, disciplined enough to stop the goal. and. Uh, second and the third goal, I would say, are a little bit... Uh, uh, we don't even want to talk about it. Is it frustrating, bearing in mind the sort of form your team are in and how well they've been playing coming into this game? Yes, but uh, top level is consistency, you know, and uh, the capacity to push yourself and uh, uh, challenging in every single game your quality, and uh, that's what it is about. It's a distracting time off the pitch as well for you at the moment. Can you tell us what's happening with Patrick Aubameyang? Uh, no, because we know more about that tomorrow morning. And what about Olivier Giroud? He seemed to be saying goodbye to the Arsenal fans at the end there. Is that the last game he'll play? It's a possibility as well, but all that uh, will be decided tomorrow morning. We'll inform you when once uh, that is more...